What's up, guys? Before we get into the vlog, I want to mention a couple of key things. One, I didn't know exactly how to go about sending this message to you all or even vlogging this or how to put the content together because we were hanging out, we were having fun, but there was also a higher purpose, a higher um, calling, a, a reason for why we were even um, meeting up, linking up, as Dean says. There is no, no forcing or just... It's just so simple. It really is as simple as you can create your own happiness. There are ways to go about it. There are multiple levels and steps and obstacles. It is our destiny to be happy. Sometimes that happiness comes from helping others. Sometimes it comes from helping yourself. Anything done with good intention and anything done with love will always, always harvest fruit from that. You won't go hungry, if you know what I mean, if, or if you understand that metaphor. And I think that it's about time to acknowledge our traumas in life, acknowledge our setbacks, embrace them, and grow in awareness, then you are good. So today I just wanted to share this specific topic. I'll put some photos here um, because it's something that grabbed my attention and I know, I know, some things come across my path in life that I just cannot ignore. No coincidences. I call them signs, messages, calling, faith in humanity, my faith in this planet. My it goes above and beyond what many may think. And we'll take it from there. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to La Vida Moro Puerto Rico. I am in Añasco right now, picking up a girlfriend of mine, a friend that I have made from this beautiful YouTube community. And we're actually meeting another subscriber for the first time, somebody who has been a loyal subscriber and really kind, really generous with the good energy. So we are all meeting up to just, we're all meeting up to have some brunch in Aguadilla. So I will, the next clip will be from there. We have a long day ahead of us. I tried to cram as much as I could into one day. We've been, or I should say, I have been planning these little get-togethers for some time now and it wind up working out that we're doing it all in the same day. So I left from Cabo Rojo, I am in Añasco now, going to Aguadilla, and then we are going to wind up in San Dulce today, and maybe Old San Juan. It's an honor, thank you. I wanna say from now, thank you, Dean, for taking the time out to meet with me. Thank you for um, being generous with sharing your stories, for being open to me possibly doing a semi interview <laughs> and more so just for helping me spread some awareness i think what is really interesting about the meet today is i i feel personally that dean and i come from two different not come totally different not not opposite perspectives but definitely two different perspectives two different uh eras of of time um i am a little bit older than dean i believe he's 25 and i am 40 and it's just interesting to see how at these different ages we came back to Boringang. It's interesting to, at first I always thought, I, I don't want to say that I was turned off to the um, social media trends, but I, maybe a better de description or a better definition of it is to say that I felt a little intimidated because it wasn't, I'm a little bit more old school. It wasn't really my, um, it didn't really spark my interest too much and and I didn't understand it too well so I I didn't really engage and I think it's important there is a way that the universe works where if there's a message that you need to hear if there's a message that needs to get delivered if there is something that you need to be a part of something that you need to know something that you need to feel it will come to you so thanks to my friend Jasmine which I am picking up right now I was able to receive a message and hear a post from Dean um, which I will explain later, or I'll have Dean explain later. 
and it's a really nice way I think for Dean and I to get together although I do feel that we probably are on, on different um, different maybe different wavelengths of energy we're not we still have the same love so I think it's really interesting for us to it, although I feel like we're probably like in um, maybe two different areas of life or two different two different generations the the foundation or the love is still the same it's still match it is you know it carries the same with with his um group of people and followers and i believe it carries the same with my group of followers and i think it's important to just sort of uh start spreading these seeds and this awareness with like the community it's not just about fixing the government or bringing awareness about the government or the education system sometimes it just has to be in the street sometimes it just has to be people doing things from their own home helping participating getting involved and teaching children that there you can do this it doesn't matter what level uh status of education you have there are ways that you can make a difference and it's mostly about believing that you can having that confidence that you can and it's not that we are promoting um like a no enter mentality it is just that we need to put our people first we have to I, there's no way to slice it or dice it to make anyone feel comfortable and it's not about making anybody feel comfortable it's just what needs to happen because it's really lacking and we have learned that our government is not going to do it for us so that's my super long intro forgive me it's already seven minutes long but i had to while i was in the moment just get it out there and more um things will probably be triggered and and introduced later when i'm speaking to dean i don't want to force this too much i wanted to just flow naturally and see what we wind up speaking about uh to see what i wind up asking him i don't have too much planned i'm not really like that i'm not an interview of it that this is going to be very organic and natural flowing um so yeah but first we're starting we're gonna go eat i'm gonna meet up with the subscribers um, and then we will do some footage from the the restaurant, the little area there, and then we'll head to Santusea. Please are this way. No, not like, you know, face it. Hello, hello, This everyone. is one of the subscribers that I was telling you about for a long time, right? How yeah. Many years? Uh, I would say a year and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
You see, it almost looks like strings coming together to make a big truck. That's what it looks like from here. Here it goes. Now we are off to San Dulce. So we'll see you then. We are waiting for the people that we are meeting up with and we're just checking out some wall art, some murals, which Santuse is pretty known for. Um, we have like a little location here that we are going to meet and then we're going to take a little look around the area of Santuse for the day. with Dean. Hola. Do you guys know who Dean is? I'm sure you do. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's <laughs> I'm sure they do. Promesas son nada más que solo palabras y si no las cumples se van a desvanecer Algún día volverás Tú al lado mío Y yo de testigo Okay, so we're gonna leave the car in a little lap so I'm gonna try to turn around Show you guys I've never, I've always just driven by Sort of, not even through these streets though Okay, so Dina's gonna give us a quick little tour before we sit and talk. Oh, yeah. A street tour. <laughs> yeah. A lot of personal favorite neighborhoods out here, like aside from where I live. Um, I usually come out here to hang out because I feel like this is more like a forest bias neighborhood. Placita de San Bruce. I'll go once in a while. Just too gentrified for me. You know? Yeah. It used to be because San Bruce, which I, didn't, I only found out recently, that it actually used to be like its own municipio. That was, that's the flag of uh, San Bruce. A lot of this. Discussing with some colleagues right now that apparently back in the day you would you were you would put an egg in, in a maita. Have you heard of this? We're grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> protein. Protein. For protein. For protein. Yeah. <laughs>
have like misconceptions about what it is to make the move over here a lot of people sort of need to see people doing it they need to they need to see people experiencing it to feel encouraged or motivated because i think the main concern is not just land or property the main concern is income um safety yeah um i've been here about two years already but but a lot of the times since i was very young um and i've always knew for a fact that i wanted to live here fully but it was it was never a matter of if only when and i felt like after i lost both my jobs during the pandemic and i was like i really have nothing else to lose i don't have a family i didn't you know um not tied down with anything over that i couldn't do in new york that i can do here so i was like all right i left being so that i've done here i've learned a lot not only about like the lifestyle the culture but more about myself what kind of person i am and what my limits are and what my what i can become being out here you know coming here is sort of an awakening right it's and like a natural exactly. without you intending it to be it awakens um things and there's sort of these um sort of sensory igniters and you're like wow okay i didn't i wasn't i didn't know i felt like this i didn't know i can be this way no heck yeah heck yeah even when it comes to getting my first car getting my own insurance getting my own apartment paying rent getting my own job you know like everything i was always had connections with people living in new york and i was just like damn like i don't know if i can do it out here but you'd be surprised what you can do yeah when you're not making any money <laughs> <laughs> motivation yeah motivation to make sure i stay out here because if i feel like I go back to New York, and this is just a me thing. I, I don't want to project anything for nobody, but I feel like if I move back to New York, then I feel like I, I didn't do my best out here, you know? I feel like I failed living out here. I feel like I failed myself, you know? But I've already been here, you know, two almost two years strong, and I, I'm here to stay. Yeah, to stay. you know, really quickly, a lot of people consider this a downgrade. Okay, if we're talking about things like water supply, or quality of light, service, electricity, etc. Yes, in a sense, it's a downgrade. But when it comes to humanity, when it comes to natural instinctive ways of being and living, mm -hmm. it is not a downgrade. It's actually an upgrade. It almost makes you healthier mentally, which is what I try to explain for my son that not many people seem to understand or grasp. Yes, there are many programs that are offered in the States, but there's something here about this force to be sort of like a little bit more minimal and one with nature and it's humbling i think there's a special calling that happens for some people out here yes. and it happened to dean <laughs> no, definitely, definitely. there's always therapy there's always ways to improve your mental health but it's also the environment that you're living in puerto rico like i have just been at a mental peace like like and it's just been so much happier here better <laughs> it's better you know like i have my own rivers my own waterfalls my own beaches you know all within drivable distance you know and yeah you know driving out here is a lot different in many ways caribbean lifestyle is a super different yes. lifestyle <laughs> but i feel like you know even i'm grateful for my experience being from new york too that you know it also plays a part in yeah. me becoming who i am you know i had a very diverse upbringing i came here fortunate enough to have things like a roof over my head like and I, I complain about other things about not having an air conditioner but then I look to my own neighbor she's born and raised here lived here for 60 years and it's been five years already since Hurricane Maria and she doesn't have a roof so there are two blue tarps, guys. You know? The blue tarps that you you heard about for so many years she's literally living under one right now as we speak yeah and I, I just question why i question like why is this still a thing after five years no neighborhood so my current project right now is to get organizations together and create a group project to help fundraise and to put a roof over this woman's head now i don't we're not related to her i'm not related to her whatsoever but i feel like if nobody's gonna help this woman out then what can i do to help uplift the community and it starts by helping one family at a time you know and i'm doing so by putting a roof over my neighbor's head you know and it's it's been a very difficult process because the whole culture of the lifestyle is different out here with you know ele electrical engineers you know pioneers um electricians plumbers whole different ball game whatsapp if you move out here whatsapp is gonna be your best friend yeah actually. so Wait, you what i guess if you can that'll be yes. better if you hold it Darling. So what I want we'll switch. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what I want you all basically you know that usually on my channel I try to be as organic as possible. I try not to 
I try not to plan too much or have like a specific idea in mind. I really just want to go with the flow. But what inspired me, not only just what Dean was doing for his neighbor, it's just Dean's age group or, or the people in that age group. I think it's really inspiring for anyone who wants to come out here to understand that you have power and you have this ability to form communities and make a difference and start planting these little seeds to, mm -hmm. to just start building and growing for the future and just keep building and growing building and growing and just start somewhere start small no one is insignificant no one take a break <laughs> and then a cow comes now yeah <laughs> we got horses cows chickens you know i got so, pigs in my neighborhood too um really we got random pigs hanging, like the, just walking around i have not in my neighborhood but in cabo Rojo, there's an area <laughs> oh, no, no i just got i got neighbors that are pigs literally matter there's still ways that we can sort of um mesh and everyone has something to bring to the table and everyone Correct. can just keep inspiring and that's yeah. all that matters yeah. that's all that matters my move is here too not only to you know for my own experience but for also to look for ways on how we can better the community and i'm already doing so but with this uh opportunity with my project we've already got all the tools necessary all we are looking for is volunteers and spaces for people that, are, that only want to help uplift puerto rico and this is a great way to start so so i really appreciate you by the way for bringing Aww. me on thank you so much she's the mvp y'all <laughs> i would really appreciate if you all because you know that i never speak about anything on here unless i truly 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 have like a connection to it or like a message from the universe or something that told me jenny talk about this jenny be about this right. maybe you can be a part of you know donating or spreading even just about the word even if you just share it spread the word <laughs> yes thank you thank you thank you and that's it hug. i'm actually gonna uh, <laughs> a hug. these are <laughs> little moments so much yeah. taller than me guys i'm really short i know a lot of people don't <laughs> in actuality i'm like this <laughs> like well I'm, we're making it work I want to say I'm going to close the vlog out here. Thank you so much for watching. Besi I always say besitos. Can you say besitos? Besito, for me besito, besito. Much besitos, love, y'all. Besitos, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next vloggy. Yes, ciao. <laughs>